It is an abuse of some of the world's most vulnerable people. Migrants turned into weapons in a political battle. Tonight, there's desperation near the border of Belarus. Migrants, many of them from the Middle East and Africa, armed with shovels and wire cutters, are trying to break through the barbed wire barrier and enter neighboring Poland, a gateway to Western Europe, and they hope a path to brighter futures for them and their families. Using tree branches to tear down the metal barricade, Polish police deploying pepper spray to push back the surge. Uh, my eyes have a pain, but he don't let me go inside. I don't eat here country. The Polish defense ministry sharing this video on Twitter today, showing it says the Belarusian side firing a warning shot to intimidate the migrants, an attempt to herd them toward Poland. Poland which has hostile relations with Belarus and supported sanctions against the country, accuses Belarus of deliberately driving migrants toward Poland as payback. It's a cruel tactic, as migrant families, many traveling with young children, are huddling together in freezing conditions, lighting fires to keep warm. Uh, no, no drink, uh, the uh, children uh, hungry and afraid. There are several thousand living in tents, trapped between the Polish and Belarusian border. <laughs> European officials say it all goes back to this. For over a year, anti-government demonstrators have been struggling to topple Belarus's strongman, Alexander Lukashenko. Lukashenko has violently crushed the protests. In response, the EU has imposed sanctions. So for now, Europe alleges out of revenge Belarus is opening the tap and trying to flood Europe with migrants via Poland. Lukashenko has denied those claims, blaming Europe and the Western world for the crisis. And Lukashenko has an ally, Russia's Vladimir Putin. Russia today sending long-range strategic bombers to patrol the skies over Belarus, saying it's deeply concerned with the situation at the border. It's a show of support for Belarus. The European Commission announcing it will expand its sanctions, with the U.S. expected to follow suit in early December. This is the attempt of an authoritarian regime to try to destabilize its democratic neighbors. This will not succeed. We have to protect our democracies from this kind of cynical geopolitical power play. Belarus and Poland are obviously nowhere near the Middle East and Africa, and European officials say it works like this. Belarus is offering the migrants tourist visas, and since they don't have many other options, they are gladly taking them, mostly coming through Turkey. And then once they arrive in Belarus, they're being driven down to the Polish border and directed toward Europe, effectively as human torpedoes. Tom? Richard Engel on a very important story tonight for us. Richard, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.